In this video we're going to learn about special triangles and the names and the properties. So I've written down all the properties here. It has the properties of the isosceles. It has two equal sides and two equal angles. Equal lateral triangle has three equal sides and three equal angles. Right angle just has a 90 degree angle. Obtuse angle just has an obtuse angle which is greater than 90 degrees and the scalene triangle has no special properties it's just basically a triangle so I'm going to draw the pictures of them here for you so that you can see what they look like now to show that two angles are equal what I'm going to do what you do is you just put a little circle like that and put two next to the one that doesn't correspond to anything and the two sides that are the same I'm going to put a little line on them like that so that is a good way of representing them and this one I have a line for every side because they're all the same and we're all going to have one circle because all three angles are the same. This one here it's gonna have nothing particularly special, it's just gonna have a 90 degree angle in it. This next one is gonna have a pretty big angle in it. So it's gonna go something like this. This is going to be angle greater than 90. As you can see in a scaling triangle, just be any regular old triangle with absolutely no properties whatsoever. So those are the pictures of the different triangles. And now we're going to look at some problems. Because the problems are pretty long, I've just written them down on the paper here. And... I'll just read them out and write on what the board would I need to The first problem I've written down says given that an equilateral triangle has three angles the same find what each angle must be well let's think about this so this is going to be problem one And think what we already know, we know that the sum of the angles adds up to 180. And that all three angles are the same. So then what we can do is, because we know it's got three angles and all the same, we can divide that by three. And that'll give for the angle, so each angle must be 60 degrees. So I'll just put that in there. So we've found out now that each angle is 60 degrees just by doing that little calculation and using a bit of knowledge of the properties and angles from the earlier video. Next problem says on a right angled triangle one angle is 25 degrees what is the other angles? So, it's a right angle to triangle. So we know it's got a right angle in. And we're given that one angle is 25 degrees. So 90 plus 25 is 115. And we know that the sum's 180. So we subtract that from 180. And that is going to give for the missing angle of our missing angle is just going to be 65 degrees. So the other one I got just because it's a right angle triangle, we know it's always got a right angle in it. And the other one I just used the properties of angles, added these two up and then subtracted it from 180. 
and got just two more problems I want to do using these properties and this knowledge that I've just learned. The third problem I've written down says an isosceles triangle has angle of 40 degrees. Find the other two angles. It also has a side of length 5 centimetres. Can we find the length of the other two? So, this is an isosceles. So it's going to look something like this. And we're given one angle here. And this is one of the angles at the bottom, by the way. Just so that you know. And also a length of one of these sides where they're both the same as five. So let's see how much we can find here. Well, we know that two angles are the same, so we know that the another one must be 40 degrees. And we know that these add up to 80. And if we subtract that, we get that this one at the top here is going to be 100. And we know that one, this side here is the same as that, so we know that this is going to be 5 centimetres. But we don't know what this other side is going to be, and there's no way of finding it. You'll see later on that if we know what the perimeter equals, we could find this side, but we're going to learn that later on in the course. But it's basically just the sum of all the sides, really, in case you wonder. But we'll work on that more later. The fourth problem says a triangle's cut in half. So I've got, I've got this type of triangle here. And this is to be cut in half. Like that. Where both of these triangles are going to be the same. And we're told that it's an equilateral triangle with sides 8 centimetres. And what the problem asks is, let's see what it asks, it asks. What are the lengths and angles of the two new triangles that are formed? How many can we find? So, let's see. What we're going to get. I'm going to be left with two of them. So I'm going to left with that one on that side and this one on the other. These lengths here are going to stay as 8 centimetres. And assuming we've cut this down the middle, both of these bottom ones are going to be 4 centimetres. These angles are going to be 60 degrees because they haven't been cut in half and also because that's a straight line we know that those are 180 so if we cut that in half we know that these will both be 90 so it means they'll both be right angles and if we know that this is 60 this angle at the top and we've cut it in half, we know that both of these angles will be 30 degrees. Now, this is just one of our side here because that's the middle line, which is this line here where we've cut it in half. So we know that these are both the same triangle because we've cut it into two equal parts. But the problem is, the answer is no, we can't find this extra one, we can only find them 
Later on in and maths, if you keep studying, you'll find actually that you'll be able to find that other missing length by using the Pythagoras theorem.